The problem with challenge rating in 5e is twofold. The first is that it never takes into account party composition and what your party's capable of, and the second is that it builds the monsters like their PCs. It's a steady progression. At this CR, your monster should have this much HP, these defenses, this much attack and damage, and monsters within a CR aren't all that different from each other. I'm probably only going to have time to talk about the first one, but if you want me to expand on the second one, I'd be more than happy to. Now, when I'm talking about party composition, there's a lot of ways that players can build their characters and a lot of ways that parties can be put together. I think the most commonly challenging party is that with a lot of burst damage. And I think the second most challenging after that would be a lot of crowd control. Now, the easiest answer is always more enemies, more stages. It is a trap to have only one monster that your party is fighting. Beyond just having more enemies in total, have them come at your party in waves to deal with that burst damage. You have these six creatures that come out in round one, these six creatures that come out in round two, these six creatures come out in round three. It makes it a little more difficult for those AoE spells to hit their maximum potential. Burst damage parties also have a problem with absurdly high HP values. So if you're using that CR chart that's in the DMG, take that HP as high as you can take it with the damage at its minimum, keep your defenses pretty low, min-max your HP. Conversely, if you have a party with consistent damage, regeneration is their enemy, especially if that amount of healing is similar to the amount of damage that they deal. Now with crowd control focused parties, numbers again are the answer. But instead of just numbers, this time you want to add in immunities. Crowd control also struggles with really high saving throws. So prioritizing creatures with high saving throws, or perhaps creatures with auras that protect against frightened, charmed, stun, as well as those auras that boost saving throws of those around them. Maybe some magic resistance, where your creatures can get advantage on their saving throws, that can spell a lot of trouble for your crowd control party. If that helped, let me know. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask.